Hello, this is Gogi from Gogi.in and here is the Micromask Canvas Doodle 3 handset and gaming review. This handset comes in a unique box packing. The Canvas Doodle 3 is also called the Micromax A102. This is a downgraded handset in the Doodle family, powered by 1.3 GHz dual core processor, supports 3G, 21 Mbps, comes with a 6 inch FWVGA screen, 5 MP rear autofocus camera, VGA front camera. This is a dual band handset running on the Android 4.2. With 512 MB RAM, 4 GB internal storage and this handset comes with a 2500 mAh battery. A magnetic flip cover is also included. Inside the box you'll find this handset with the flip cover, the battery of 2500 mAh capacity, user guide, warranty card, download goodies, SAR compliance, screen guard, travel charger, data cable, earphone, the call button and the mic. And here is the closer view of the earplug. The Micromax A102, this is a big handset with a 6 inch screen. As you can see the flip cover comes pre-attached, there is no extra back panel without the flip. The rear side is white color with matte finish. The build quality and the finishing is good and it does look like a premium phone. Here is a window on the flip cover with specific functions, we will see this later. On the factory fitted film, the key specifications are highlighted. This is how the handset looks after removing the factory film. The flip cover quality is very good. Here are the three touch sensitive buttons and this is the mic. On the top, the camera, in call speaker and the sensors. Since the handset comes with the flip cover, the power button and the volume rockers are placed on the right side. The micro USB port and 3.5mm audio jack are placed on the top. On the rear side there is the speaker out vent, the Micromax logo, 5 megapixel autofocus camera with LED flash. Here are the SAR values mentioned. This is a dual SIM handset, here are the SIM slots, SIM 1 supports 3G, SIM 2 supports 2G and this is the micro SD card slot. These are normal SIM slots. Handset weight with battery is 229 grams, thickness is 9.71 mm and the breadth is 88.93 mm. Let's power on this device, the Doodle logo and here is the lock screen with the animated wallpaper running in the background. This looks really good. When you move around you can see the background animating. This handset is running on a dual core processor and putting up this animated wallpaper I think is not a good idea. Though the performance is good, the handset might lag at some point of time. Touch is smooth and responsive. The backlit buttons, they do light up as you can see. Kingsoft Office comes pre-installed. There is LED notification that turns green when you get a notification and turns red when charging. Wi-Fi hotspot, USB and Bluetooth tethering is supported. There is no Wi-Fi direct option. There is built-in GPS with EPO and AGPS support. Of the 4GB internal storage, 1.27GB is allocated for apps and 704MB uh, as the phone storage. 1.1 GB free for apps and of the 512 MB RAM you get around 280 MB free. The viewing angles are okay, the screen is not clearly visible from certain angles. As you can see it's not visible from this angle as well as this angle. Here are some more live wallpapers, the 3D Lotus that was already running. There is My Beach and Ripple Effect. Here is the Ripple Effect. And uh, here is the My Beach HD wallpaper. This is a live wallpaper. Doodle 3 comes with a magnetic flip cover. When you close the flip cover, you get the screen with the time and some notifications. The messages and the missed calls. When you open up the flip, you get the lock screen. This handset houses the MediaTek MT6572 1.3 GHz dual core chipset coupled with Mali 400 MP GPU. It is running on the Android 4.2.2 with screen resolution of 854 by 480 pixels. 
there is accelerometer, proximity and light sensors. And all of these are active. There is no magnetic sensor. The time is 9.47 pm, battery at 91 and the temperature at 35 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 3140, Antutu 11075, Vilamo HTML 51677, Metal 511, Nina Mark 2 39.6 FPS and this handset supports 2 point multi-touch. Here is the camera interface, HDR, Panorama and Beauty Shot are supported. There is face detection and the picture size as you can see is 5 megapixel. This is an autofocus camera. The front camera is of VGA resolution and this handset can record videos in 720p resolution as you can see at 30 frames per second. And now let's play some games. Modern Combat 4, this game got installed on the external storage. The gameplay is good but you can see it lagging at times. The Asphalt 8, this game also got installed on the external storage, by default it is set to the medium graphics quality. Though the gameplay looks smooth, it will lag. Just watch. I'm going to try playing in the very low visual quality mode. The game does lag a lot sometimes but uh, most of the time it is playable. I've been using this handset for around 35 minutes, the battery dropped by 6% and the maximum temperature is 38 degrees. Micromax Canvas Doodle 3 is powered by 1.3 GHz dual core processor running Android 4.2 over a 6 inch screen with FWVG resolution. The DualSIM handset supports 3G Wi-Fi Bluetooth and GPS and comes with a 2500mAh battery. I don't know why Micromax named this a Doodle 3, after the Doodle 2 users were expecting something better and what they get is a downgraded version. It would have been better if Micromax uh, had given it a different name. The Doodle 3 is available for a price of under rupees 8600. For full review, sample images and videos visit my website cookie.in.